Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And in today's video, we are not going to do decoupage, but I'm going to show you how to crystallize your glass bottles and glass jars. And before we get started on the instructions, I wanted to take these outside and show you how brilliant they are in the sunlight. You can see these real crystals that have formed on the glass in different colors. Now these don't just look beautiful out in the sunlight. You can put them in front of Christmas lights, candle lights, or just in a sunny window. And here's what we can do to get started. This says 320 grit sandpaper. I recommend a 120 grit sandpaper. And I tried it by hand. I used a filing block and then I switched over to this palm sander and I used a very coarse, I think this was a hundred grit nail file to go around certain areas of the bottle. And you really want to scratch the bottle up and rough it up. Now this part is important and here's what you need to do. I'm going to keep the camera focused on this for a minute, so it's going to be a little bit boring, but I do want to tell you, you want to make sure you're using a pot or pan that's designated strictly for crafts. Don't use any of your good pots or pans. Uh, don't use anything that will come into contact with food. So I just went to the Salvation Army and I bought a couple of junk pots and I use these for all of my crafts. And you want to use nine tablespoons of borax for every three cups of water that you put into these pans. Now you don't have to boil it, but you do want the water to be very hot. Don't put the bottle in there, I just have it in there for a moment. And what you do is you just keep stirring and stirring until the water becomes clear. Now I added a couple of drops of food color in there, which is why it's that light green. And in the other pot, I'm going in very slow motion, I'm sorry. In the other pot, which is hard to see, I used a royal blue food coloring. But the first part is you just want to, for every three cups, put in nine tablespoons of borax, stir it until the water is clear, then you can add food coloring. Now I only added four to five drops of food coloring in here and I wanted to show you this is how the crystals looked with four or five drops it barely has any color in it so I suggest you use a minimum of 15 drops of the food coloring and this is all I used the green I was going for the sea glass look and you can mix the blues and the greens and you can experiment with this. It's uh, not an exact science. You might want colors a little richer and some a little lighter and one of my favorite colors. And here we are again. You can see that the jar came out like it's beautiful anyway. They're just clear crystals though. So when you're working with the, if you want to work with the writ dye, then you want to do the opposite of the food coloring. You want to add less. Now, I just dumped a bunch of the writ dye, I would say quarter of the box, into this pot. And you can see that beautiful color. It was a little darker than I wanted. However, I did love the end effect because it ended up giving me what, and here's the box I used, Kelly Green of the writ dye. Now the borax had, borax, I'm sorry, had already melted. Uh, it was, the water was clear, then I added the dye. Here's how the bottle looked. And if you look on the top, I think it might be harder to see through the camera, but this is actually a jade green color. This is not completely dry, so some of these crystals will fall off. I still have to tell you how to do this. But I wanted you to see the difference between the food coloring and the Brit dye. By the way, I did not sand this whole bottle. I sanded some parts of it. And you can see how some parts don't have, well, they hardly have any crystals on it. And some parts of the bottle have 
a lot of the crystals on it. Now I'm taking this clear glass vase. I also got this, I think it was $2 in the thrift store, but it's quite a heavy substantial vase. You don't want anything that's too light because the glass might crack. And you can also do this in the pots. You can keep the, the jars in the pots. Once I mix the food coloring or the writ dye into the clear water, I then poured, and this is still very hot water, I poured it into the jar, I'm sorry, into the vase, or whatever receptacle you're using to put your bottles into. Now you can see I have water in this bottle. You see how scratched up it is too? And what I'm going to do is I want to float this bottle. You don't want it touching the bottom or the sides because when this starts to crystallize, the bottle can stick to the sides or the base. So what I did was I kept adding the food coloring water, and this is still hot, and then I would dump some of the water out of the bottle until I got an equal amount where the bottle was just floating in there. So here are the basic instructions again. Sand the glass bottles or jars. Dissolve nine tablespoons of borax per every three cups of water. And it is better to use too much borax than not enough. Then add the food coloring or writ dye to the now dissolved borax water and float the bottle or jar in the water. Keep the water out of sunlight and leave the bottle or jar in the solution overnight. And I will show you how this starts to look after it cools off for about six hours or so. So here you can see, now it's nighttime, it's about six hours later, there's these beautiful crystals that are forming already on the outside, well it's actually on the inside, but you can see it is forming on the outside of the jar and the inside of this glass receptacle that I'm using. And here's how one of the jars looks. Now I did not sand this jar. I have to mention something to you guys. I tried sanding and I tried not sanding. and there were differences, but it was really hard to see. Now this is a beautiful blue color now. I don't know why it started to turn purple or lavender. It might've been the reaction between the borax and the uh, writ dye, because this is the writ dye in here. So here's what it started to look like overnight, but it's actually still not done. You need to leave it sit in there uh, overnight, ideally. and. Look at this vase just looks so pretty. Unfortunately, this bottle came out to be, it was a pretty purple color, but I was going for the royal blue. So here's how this is looking so far. It looks very pretty, but when it dried, it dried to a purple color. And here we are the following morning. Now you can see the color up top is a little bit darker. It's still looking a little bit blue, but it's leaning towards the purple. See that really uh, hard part up there? That will dry lighter. And I will show you how the rest of the bottles look using the food coloring and the dye so that you can decide which way to go yourself. Now I'm pretty sure this is an inexact science and I welcome your comments because if you're going to experiment with this, here's what I would suggest. This is the food coloring water. Uh, where I showed you earlier that the crystals came out somewhat clear, the bottles came out clear, which was beautiful, but I didn't really need the food coloring, and I was going for the sea glass look, so I needed to darken it up a little bit, which means I should have used several more drops of blue and green. I would say probably at least 10 of each, maybe even a little more. The other thing is, it looks like the crystals sometimes start to form well before the overnight. When you take these out, you want to set them aside to dry because for a while the crystals are quite loose and they can come off. Once they dry, they're on there really securely. So this is the one that was in the green water and you can see that it 
just looks like crystals, but those crystals are beautiful. And let me take these outside where they really shine and sparkle. You can see them in the sunlight here. Again, this is the one that had the green food coloring and I don't see a lot of green in there, but it is really pretty nonetheless. And on this smaller bottle, I did use a lot of food coloring, the blue and the green, and you can see that's really got a pretty sea glass effect on it. And on this one, I'm not sure if you can see it better here. I think you can. The jade coloring really came out on this and oh, it's just my favorite. I even have some leftover crystals and I'm going to experiment with those in cookie cutters and some uh, glue to see if I can make some beautiful ornaments out of this. I'll put a blog post up uh, about that if I can do it. And then finally, here's our larger bottle. Now this is the one uh, from the Rit dye that said it was royal blue and you can see against the backdrop of the sky it is clearly purple or lavender which for some reason just reminded me that these might make lovely centerpieces for parties if you've got the drop lights in your house, uh, if you're thinking of a wedding. And here's how they look uh, inside. Under halogen lights these would probably do the best. But uh, in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Those subscriptions really help us out as YouTubers. I am happy to help you out with any questions. Uh, please go on up over to Upcycle with Decoupage on Facebook and like and follow the page. Then you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. I'd also love to see any pictures that you've taken of some of these that you've done, how you've experimented with them, what you came up with, because to me, these are just stunning. I'm going to keep them on the windowsill and I'm sure I'm going to come up with some more projects in the future. And before I end today's video, I want to say a special thank you to Alexandra for letting me having uh, for letting me have that bottle from Thanksgiving. <laughs> and for DZ, DZ, let me know how you like these because I think you and I are so on the same page and I'm sure you're going to get right to work on these yourself. So I hope you guys are all taking some time out from the busy holiday. You'll get everything done. Just take a little bit of a breather, have a cup of tea, watch some videos, and relax. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again, friends. Bye-bye.